So players have gotten into game. It looks like unfortunately. So I was I'm so used to these guys being so like quick, quick, go, 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 and then it was like oh one sec maybe because like oh, whatever. Anyway, so I, I began. Anyway, I think we're all good. It was Monkey Balls, aka Honey Bear, who said, "Oh, maybe give me a second, But uh, it looks like he's ready to go, and I'm going to. For, I don't understand how I I can't like fix my. I, don't I had to restart my game client. I had that happen on stream on Thursday, and I had to restart my game client to get the audio to work right. I have no idea what happened. I don't know if it's a, a beta-related thing or what, but I had a similar problem, and all I had to do <laughs> is restart my game. Yeah, so we might not have like proper sound on this bad boy or something. I'm so confused. Well, uh... if, if you guys are watching the stream, go ahead and type in the chat to, if you guys can hear the in-game sounds. Uh, well, I mean, if not, I know that let us know can't. also. If I can't, then they can't. <laughs> well... Aren't um, okay, greedy son of a gun. No, I'm not. Anyway, over here at the three o'clock position, we've got the guy starting off this best of three series. His might, name might say Monkey Balls, but it's actually Honey Bear. And then over in the left hand side of the map, we've got our Yellow Zerg. He's game time. So, uh, I believe, what is it? Game time. So, Honey Bear, he's an Illinois resident, and Game Time, I think, is from Michigan, I believe, if I remember right. So it's the Battle for Lake Michigan, then. I suppose so. Because um, we don't count Wisconsin. We just need <laughs> that state kind of out of the whole Great Lakes area. No one wants it. And the unit Upper Peninsula, we, we uh, actually, I think Canada's going to annex next year. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm so, this is so weird. I have no sound whatsoever. It, you know how when you hit Control M, it'll be like music disabled, okay. music enabled. No, con control M as in Mary. Yes. Okay. Uh, and you know Control S is sound, right? Yeah. But anyway, we get Zergling on Zergling action. It's like a Zerg porno, actually. Uh, and so we see six Zerglings chase down six more Zerglings with two more joining the fray. And finally, I can tell these frickers apart because they're two different colors. They're not blue and purple. They're <laughs> yellow and purple, which makes t DJ very happy. But anyway, these Zerglings are just kind of like playing chicken. It's like Red Rover, Red Rover, do you want to come on over? And they're like, hell no, I'm going back here. No, I'm going to chase you. No, I'm not. Uh, it's like, you know what? Watching Zerglings attack other Zerglings is quite literally like the visualization of what ADD happens in the human mind. <laughs> that is what this is because you, that's what it feels like. So anyway, looking at what we got here, we got a couple of Baneleys that came out. Uh, it looks like he got one in and canceled and there's four more. Oh, and they're going to come in. If they get good connections, it's going to be awesome. Holy cow. He runs right by him and monkey balls is just like, Hey, YOLO. I'm out of here. Two Banelings get on top, but they don't actually kill anything. Monkey balls is not paying attention very close to his Banelings. The two Banelings actually get decent kills, but game time is going to get his Banelings in. He gets a couple decent connections He's got one Baneling left. Can he make it worth its while? Come on, into the mineral line. That's what you want to do. We know it. We know it. Oh, the target fire by the spine crawler actually does the damage it needs to, but game time goes ahead and gets his guys into the mineral line, causes delayed mining time. And when you're only on one base, that's actually pretty significant. Oh, ADD all <laughs> over. And three. About. No, so we... It was a, I mean, I think both... Yeah, both players pretty much went for the exact same build out of... Uh, pretty pretty darn near the exact same build mm -hmm. uh, in this We see Monkey Balls matchup. do this like last... Or last... Uh, yesterday, remember? Yeah. Um, all these players have been real... Especially like Game Time, Monkey Balls... Uh, oh! Maybe Sackle oh. as well? Nicely. Oh no, he detonated all of his... Oh, great detonation right there in the Very middle line. Good. So many drones are so low on health. I mean, this is not looking good for Honey Bear. Uh, game time, Zerglings are just going to town and nearly wipe out every drone there is. Holy cannolis, and for the first time, Monkey Balls got Monkey Balled. Riggedy wrecked. All right, wow. so I am going to quick... All right, let me uh, send a message to that chat. Where's the group chat thingy? All right, where is that Midwest Cup? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and restart my game client, but I will update. It looks so game time takes play game number one. Um, in a very, very quick and aggressive game, and we have seen, we've seen a lot of games like that. Uh, out of these players yesterday. I think part of it too is a lot of them haven't played too much Legacy of the Void, so they're not... Because, like, Ling Bling, it still kind of works in ZVZ, right? Like, the, it's the same as Heart of the Swarm, pretty much. I mean, you just have that faster economy, and um, really it just kind of ramps up more quickly, to be honest. Uh, so going for that kind of, like, 14 pool early... Um, 
Early Ling aggression is still certainly possible. There we go. I have sound. What? It was hey, so... hey! The magic of the beta. That was By so the way, now they can only fix the freaking okay. match history, <laughs> like, after game stats page. Yeah. Like, none of my matches have stats. Like, they all end in error. I can't go yeah. to any of my previous matches. Yeah. That's weird. It was weird, though, because I was hitting, like, because, like, control S or, or M as in Mary, it'll say, like, enabled, disabled, enabled. Yes. Mine is just disabled, disabled, disabled. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I don't want this. Um, you know what it is? So I had that issue in Wings of Liberty. Okay. A while, who's, who's party uh, and you know what happened to me? Add me you baby. know what happened to me? I found out that I had a macro, uh, not a macro, but, like, you know how, like, on your mouse you can program it to, like, shift or whatever? Um, I had some macro, and every time I would go ahead and hit that, it would turn the sound off. Nice. And I'm like, <laughs> why? I, like, literally, like, I would hit a button and it'd be, like, on for a second, then off. And it took me, like, two weeks to figure it out. Like, I actually made, like, three formal bug complaints to Blizzard. Um, That's funny. Right when uh, StarCraft II was launched. Um, and so, like, of course, Blizzard's being hammered with, with you know, bugs. Like, that you couldn't, uh, you couldn't use the guest account mm. option. So if you didn't have internet or if you tried to play StarCraft II offline, you could do that. But the guest account had to be enabled. And you couldn't use the guest account feature. Did you guys just cancel the group? Huh? No, I, uh, whatever. I was trying to rejoin their party. I think, uh, Honey Bear was made the party leader. And then so on and so forth and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter too much that we're in a party, to be honest. By this point in time, everything's kind of settled down. We don't have such a crazy, like, kind of a little bit of a crazy, uh, crazy chat in the, the whole, the whole tournament chat, so. I'm gonna try one of the other interfaces for the game. I'm gonna try Streamlined, whatever that is. <laughs> Well, cause the, what it is, so the problem with the, the game hard interface, and this is the only complaint I have, is that when you go to click on a unit or a building, you can't see the requirements or the stat abilities. Like, like if you click on a building, you yeah, can't sometimes. see like, what the requirement is or build times for certain units are, which is helpful if you're not familiar with certain races. Like, I, for example, I don't know the brood time, or I'm sorry, the, the timing for brood lords, for, like how long it takes to make one, or how long hive mm -hmm. takes, for example. Sure. So, um... I'm trying to find another interface that's not game hard that sort of gives that sort of oh, there, out of a look. There is the so like there's WCS game heart and then there's like yeah. the original game heart and the original game heart usually gives you pretty much all the information. I don't so much like the WCS. I use go? the original SCPO. one. Huh? Oh. Okay. Monkey ball says go. I was just double checking because last time yeah, yeah. it was there was one person that was like oh one sec and I just like you know by by nature of habit, I was like, oh, off we go, boys. Well, maybe I, should, I don't know, maybe <laughs> I should get the latest game heart then. Maybe there's another yeah. one out there that's just the regular one because the WCS game heart is not in Legacy of the Void and it's not available in Heart of the Swarm as a default option, which is weird. Yeah. Like when you go to the Observer Overlay, uh -huh. not the game mod option. Mm -hmm. But I know you need both to make it work, but oh, this is not as, well, this isn't helpful. <laughs> yeah, Streamlined is really awkward. <laughs> yeah, Streamlined is not just awkward. Like, it's, it's pretty terrible. Whatever. Um, it's potatoes. <laughs> but it's Hold okay. On, so, you're going to laugh at this. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm looking at that view, and I go to click on a larva, and I kid you not, one of the larva, the default option for it is to morph into an ultralist cavern. <laughs> nice. If only, <laughs> man. Is, I know. That'd be awesome. Yeah, no, there's a lot, of, cool. lot, lot of broken things. But we're on to game two. We have sound this time. Hey, look, I fixed it. I'm not like the NASL sound guy. And uh, in the bottom side of the orbital shipyard map that we are on, we've got our yellow zerg again. It's game time. Opposite side of the map on this very unique map, it's a red zerg. It's monkey balls, also known as honey bear. Well, I think I was talking about moonlight madness. Is that had... no, 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 you're talking about this map here. Because you're the the, the regional well, it's got reason you're air. About, because yeah, there's a lot of air space for like yeah. to come in from the left. There's a lot of like different points that reapers can poke into the main as well. Like just one really long wall in the front. There's a sure. small spot over here on the left. Um, for Zerg though, it does open up the route for like a lot of strong mute harass. I mean, it's easily defended. So let's take a look at the natural base for game time here. So he's got his natural going down, and what you'd have to do is just basically put like three or four spores right here by the. The, the northern geyser and you can pretty much cover this entire ramp here so while it's got a lot of airspace it's also easily defendable um <clears throat> but still it does open up attack paths for things like muta harass um yeah. which is very popular for zerg yeah i can see this becoming a little bit like a coda though um or that sort of thing or uh over overgrowth was it overgrowth was the one that was in the pool for like 
two years. Overgrowth was the one where like it was almost vertical spawns. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but it looked it was like Coda Part One. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> this one I can this is it seems like a pretty I mean the third base is a little bit harder to hold maybe there's a lot of space kind of going on in there but it's very for paths. Yeah. it's very much in one in one kind of in one line altogether however but we've got action look at, this. look at this action there's six zerglings here and you know it's going to come next where's the baneling nest there's the baneling nest so with the zerglings in the main uh and they've been scouted by game time and he does not have enough zerglings of his own and the spine crawler is not ready to go so basically he's gonna need the spine crawler to deal with these banelings and he's gonna have to keep control of his own zerglings in order to be able to stay alive uh this is one of those touch and go things that uh, monkey balls specializes in and he's decided he's like he's gonna go and try to distract with for the natural and then hopefully the target fire oh that could have been uh, a big bane target... oh oh how many drones was that my friend that was eight it was it, it was uh better than it like there was a moment where he could have blown up all the zerglings but he instead went to go just for a big clump of uh of drones which may have been the right choice at the end of the day game time's not totally behind you know he he is actually still ahead in drones he's still ahead in workers but he's supply blocked. and he just well he's supply blocked monkey balls so game yeah. time's actually feeling really good after that supply block that was a huge loss for uh for monkey balls and it might end up causing in the game i mean he well okay he's expanding out of it so he's not 100 percent committed to this oh, oh no here but... comes the bane they connect on the queen they're not really able to get much else because there's not a whole lot down here so the one bane is just going to literally do a lap around yeah. the track and gets Ooh. all the zerglings oh my god nice zoning out of that though but again i mean it's not this attack doesn't really have a follow-up behind it i mean as soon as these zerglings of uh, monkey balls gets cleaned up then you know whatever game time's feeling okay as long as game time doesn't like this is the point when you need to realize that your opponent has stopped attacking and you need to say okay i i need to stop making units maybe you know i need to start making drones or i, I you know i need to stop making zerglings because zerglings are zerglings that don't get any work done are just zerglings that are are wasted that could have been uh could have been drones instead well and here's the thing so game time did not see another follow-up push to that so he's like all right fine i've got units i managed to hold them off i'm pushing out yeah. he's got six banelings down here being morphed in and he's got oh seven banelings now that he's got the money and he's got a seventh one coming up here or eighth one and he's gonna deserve these and these banelings gonna connect on these queens you might as well just go ahead oh they sneak through they do detonate on the queens they get all the other banelings is he gonna get the queens he's gonna get both queens holy cow Nicely done on a game time. I, I like. I was a little bit skeptical. I was like, you know, this might not do any damage. Monkey Balls already has his has his queens ready, but oh, uh, questionable. Blowing up yeah. on the hatchery. I, I don't know about that, but I think what it was is he was just trying to angle towards the drones, and like the hatchery just happened to be. Yeah, there. it might have been a little bit of a misclick. Um, yeah. However, monkey or game time still oh, in pretty good, pretty good situation. Yeah. Able to clean up a lot of drones. Monkey Balls is kind of scrambling. He he's decided, do I try and just take a counterattack and uh, you know cut off the reinforcements and go over to Monkey Balls' base, make him leave my own base with this this uh, counter aggression? But I'm not sure where it's really gonna if it's gonna make enough of a difference. Monkey Balls continues to run across the map, uh, you know, just catching up to all the reinforcements of game time. But eventually does you know. Gets game time out of his base. I, I'd still say that game time is in a pretty favorable economic position, but both players are still well, feeling forced to just make uh, fighting units and not yeah, really yeah, work yeah. on the economy. And here's the problem. I mean, if you look at it, game time, has one worker in his natural. He's been making. He has not been droning at all this entire time to try to keep. You know, uh, monkey bears in uh, monkey bears, <laughs> whatever <laughs> monkey bears in his base. Okay, and now it's like this back and forth thing, and now. You know, Monkey Balls has his natural mining, which is like the polar opposite of game time. Uh, but he doesn't have any queens. So, oh, I guess he does. There's two holes in the front up here, but they're not actually doing injects. So he's going to lose one of the queens. Uh, nice uh, transfuse on the one queen to try to hold it off. But I, oh, and the Baneleys come through at a clutch moment. Gets half the Zerglings, and Monkey Balls is able to hold on barely. But there are more Baneleys coming in. They're going to detonate to try to take out the other Baneling cocoons here. Uh, he may get it. The queen's probably going to fall here as soon as the detonation occurs. And literally all of Monkey Ball's defenses are literally gone. He's got some larvae that just now decided they want to become the hero zerglings that Monkey Balls needs. But I don't think it's worth. Banelings come in, wipe out the drones at the main. Uh, there's one more Baneling that looks like it's going to go try to have some fun in the natural. Uh, and he's going to have two friends in there also. So this is very bad for Monkey Balls because of such his late expansion. And, oh, 
<laughs> that was a lot of Zergling so. killed by by a single Baneling there. And now, yeah, Monkey Ball, or, uh, jeez, game time. He just continues to take the slightly more favorable engagements, even though some, you know, sometimes it doesn't feel super great, but he manages to kind of just clutch it out in the end. Um, I, I mean, oftentimes it's in the field by the fact that he's, he's always been a couple of drones ahead, or at least even. I mean, there was a, a moment when Monkey Ball started to come back, but he's... Game time's always been a little bit ahead on drones, and I think it's really showing as they continue to just be scrappy this whole game through. I mean, we've had seven and a half minutes of, of just scrappy Ling Bane Ling uh, fighting, which in Legacy of the Void, seven and a half minutes, you can almost be... That's a lot probably... of time. If you think about that, seven and a half minutes, and this is approximately nine minutes in... Uh, also, no GG. Game time manages to steal two away from Monkey Balls, uh, taking that series and pushing Monkey Balls down into the loser bracket. That he does. And uh So excellently played. I've actually watched Game Time quite a bit.